So, welcome to Rosalind's Kitchen. Uh, today we're going to be making creamy uh, Parmesan steak pina. Now, it says that it's mild. I think that's because it has red uh, pepper flakes. These things will never see the light of day in this house. So, it will not be mild, it should be non-spicy. We have a red pepper, bell pepper, they're not spicy. Cream, piña, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway, parmesan, green onion, regular onion, garlic, and of course, the steak. This will probably be maybe my second to the last, possibly even my last, I haven't checked the other two, uh, home chef meals I make. Uh, after that, maybe I will be making some kind of, that are chosen by daddy, but we don't know yet. So, this may be my last home chef. Anyway, let's get busy. Now the first thing that I have to do is I'm boiling some water right now in order to cook my piña. Yeah. Uh, eight cups of water and two teaspoons of salt. So now while that's getting ready to go, let us get busy cutting up my onion. First thing is to cut and peel the onion. So just kind of pull the peel off of this. All right, so now that the onion is peeled, now I need to slice it into thin strips. Oh, and half it. So, here we go. Now to do the other half. Alright, so there's my onion. Now to stem seed, remove the ribs and slice the bell pepper into thin strips too. So, so cut out the center of it. See? of the seeds. And now to clean out the, see all those ribs in there? Now I gotta clean those out. And I have my handy little <coughs> ribbing. All right, now I'm using my other cutting thing so that these are, they're thin, but they're not gonna be as thin as, say, my onions, because I just don't think that the peppers need to be quite that thin. But it'll still be pretty thin. Voila. 
So, let me finish that. All right, so there are my red pepper, bell peppers. And uh, I like using the mandolin because it gives me a much more even cut as opposed to my trying to do it. I suppose if I were like a real chef, I'd know how to do this, but you know, you do what you got to do. <clears throat> All right, so my next thing is to trim and thinly slice my green onions. So. All right, so I've washed my little mandolin here, my thin one, and now I will and by not cutting off the green tops that gives me something to hold on to while I'm doing this of course it helps if you hit the bowl but you know Basically cut until you start losing, it starts to get all wiggly, you know, weirded. And then that's about the end of it. That's as far as you can go unless you're going to like do the green green part of it. And there you have your onions. Now put this back in the wash water so it can be washed. My next thing is to mince my garlic. Yay! All right, so my garlic has been cut into pieces. Now, I shall mince it. Oh, I don't know. Anybody have any good idea about who I should beat the snot out of today? Oh. I'm afraid I'm not feeling very angry today. I'm feeling mostly hot. Maybe, how about this hot weather and broken air conditioners? Pretty seriously minced, I'd say. There we go. And this, of course, being the slap shot uh, chop, it comes into many pieces. So, all right, so what do we have now? Now we must like our steak and um, apparently it's in pieces in here so we just have to cut it out and lay it out and kind of pat it dry all right so carefully getting my meat out of here Now the last time I did one of these that you had to kind of pull the meat apart and then uh, I think I over dried it and it kind of lost some of its flavor so I'm not going to over dry it this time. So there it is and is there like two pieces of meat here? Oh yeah, there are. Okay. Now it says to season it with a fourth of a teaspoon of salt and a pinch of pepper. So I'm going to pinch the pepper first just because. Because the pepper usually gets 
done secondly. And the salt. Okay, there we go. Now everything is ready to go. I'm just waiting on my water to boil so I can put my piña in. All right, so now I'm caramelizing my onions with a little salt and, uh, you know, just kind of letting them get loose. I'm also, I've got my pan over here that I'm heating for my steak, which I will be cooking the steak in in just a second. All right, so now add my steak. pieces here. There we go. And my garlic. And my bell pepper. cook it for about five to seven minutes until no pink remains. In the meantime, my onions are over here doing their little thing. They don't seem to be caramelizing, but they are getting soft. So, you know, not quite sure what we got going on over here. And these guys are doing their business. And in about three minutes, my piña will be ready to pour out of their water. And then I can put them back in the pan to keep warm. All right, so I've combined the onion the pasta water that I saved and most of the green onion I've added and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt where's my fourth? there we go and now I'm going to start making the uh, sauce that goes with it the pasta is finished cooking over there so it's all getting stirred up together here and just kind of letting it stay warm while I make the sauce. 